Arnell and Ryan, who are here every week to make us laugh and, and to sing us pretty love songs. Arnell's going to sing me to sleep. His wife said she could. Said he could. Anyway, for those of you that haven't met me, my name is Char. I've been re-abled and relabeled by the government. This is my cane. His name is Abel. Yeah. And I'm not old. I'm just legally dead on paper. Now that we got that out of the way, let's have some fun. Yeah. Yeah. Has anybody noticed that there's 321.43 million people in this country? And some idiots have decided that Hillary and Trumpery are the brightest and the prettiest that we have to offer. Don't you know China and Russia's going, they're our bitch now. <laughs> so I think that people say that they're going to vote for the lesser of two evils. I'm just going to go straight to politics. It's like choosing between a wart on your nose or a boil on your butt. But the parties are interchangeable. <laughs> and if Donald Trump builds that 50-foot wall around Texas, uh -oh. chief export of Mexico is going to be 55-foot ladders and 56-foot ropes, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and Hillary, well, I think that she's a she-he with penis envy. And judging by the size of Donald Trump's hand, I think he has penis envy, too. Uh, <laughs> I'm getting wild now. Now, I just got back from Oklahoma, y'all, and if a red and if a southern lady, we don't sweat, we just get dewy. But if a southern lady looks at you and says, bless your heart, oh, hell no, you are staring at a full-grown grizzly bear with PMS and a meat cleaver. Do not cross that woman. Just say, I'm very sorry, and back away. Do not turn your back on her. Anyways, I was in Oklahoma, and you know, certain things end up on your accidental bucket list that I wasn't expecting. Didn't know that a dog bite was on my bucket list, but it showed up one Sunday morning. But I say, if you're gonna get bit by a dog, go big. I mean big ass dog. I got bit by a bull mastiff. Which gives me bragging rights and the opportunity to lie to an emergency room physician and say, no, it's not a dog bite. I had an unscheduled flight. And speaking of unscheduled flights, I take those quite often, took one on Sunday. Some people like to call it falling, but that doesn't sound like a lot of fun. So I call it an unscheduled flight, and I say, God bless Stephen Tyler of Aerosmith when I get to keep my teeth, because he wasn't that lucky. So if y'all had a good day, can we get a happy hell yeah? yeah? All right. And if you think the election scares you, I'm sorry, but... Christmas is just around the corner. Oh! Now, we've, we've, missed, we've missed Halloween, but I really, for next year, I think we should make it one holiday. Everybody can come to my house. You can dress up in costume. We'll have some turkey. We'll open some presents. We'll have a glass of champagne. Mazel tov, Happy New Year. It's all over in one day. Can I get a show of applause, everybody that's in favor of that? Yeah. Give it to the retailers the way they're giving it to us. So when I was in Oklahoma, besides the dog bite, I thought I was a real redneck lady and, and I was a country woman and there was a branch that was scratching on my roof and it was bugging me. So I'm out there and I decide that I can pull this branch down all by myself. I'm reaching above my arms like this, trying to grab this branch and I look down between my arms and there is a seven foot black rat snake five inches from my flip flops. The silver lining, you should always look for silver lining when unexpected things end up on your bucket list. I discovered that I can not only jump straight up in the air, I can run in the air for short distances of time. So you see, every little thing that happens to you can have a silver lining if you look for it. And Arnell and Ryan, I love you guys. We've been doing this for a long time together, and they haven't asked me not to come back yet. So um, I'm, I'm open to questions. Is there any questions anyone has? Other than who to vote for, I'll tell you, I'm Switzerland. I'm voting for Willie Nelson. He's got his own party. It's called the Teapot Party. Vote for him, ladies and gentlemen. Write him in. I can understand why he wouldn't want the pay cut. But he uh, does understand the IRS, and he understands the food system, and he has a reasonable Colorado attitude. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for your time. This has been a joy and a privilege and an honor. Thank you.
That was a lovely char. I said, oh, I got this mic hat. Maybe she got the mic hat. I don't know what happened. Right here. I may be feeling some Ryan Conway next, if that's, uh, that's going to work for you. Yeah, then maybe.